so do I have everyone? Yes. Okay, so can I start now? Oh, please, absolutely. Sure. Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Nicole Haraguchi and I have brought a team here to talk about the extinction call to action about this project. So, so how it all started is that I had like, I worked together with a team as well on helping the Arucaria Augusta Floria, which is, we did like many planting events and we also, uh, we did like uh, several planting events on helping this tree in Brazil and how we spread awareness about this tree was talking about the local government. We also uh, worked together with the media. We were on broadcasts, we were on radio broadcasts, on the newspaper and on the radio. And we, uh, and so after this, I also wanted to help other species that are also endangered of extinction. Mm -hmm. So then I also made a, I made a, uh, a, a website on it about it. And I also made a Facebook group to also talk about these endangered species and how we can help them. So I wanted to, we, so I worked together with, uh, Jaralu Ortiz on the, on the Tarzir. And if anyone from the Taigai Tai School Special Education Center is there, you can, do you want to say some words? Is anyone from the Taigai Tai School Special Education there? Or talk. Well, I guess we would just uh, go to the next person, I guess. So if they get back online, we'll go back to them. Okay. So, so the next one, I also work together with Asuja on the Mantiji. So mm -hmm. Asuja, would you like to say something about the experience? Sure. Um, hi, I'm Asuja, and I'm at Timberland Creek Elementary. And so me and Nicole work together with manatees, about manatees. So mm -hmm. manatees are like a sea cow, so they're herbivores and they eat plants. So the problem is manatee morality is on the rise, mainly because of watercraft accidents and a red tide. So watercraft accidents is basically just any watercraft or boat hitting the manatee and killing them. Red tide is like seaweed and algae, like sargasso, coming over the water. So if this is the seafloor, this would be the top of the water. Then the algae comes on and it just grows and takes all the sunlight for itself on top of the ocean. That means none of the sunlight goes in. So that means all the plants die. And since the manatees are herbivores, they don't eat the plants and they starve too. So me and Nicole made this video about how to turn a gar agar powder, which is basically seaweed and algae, into biodecomposable plastic out of this recipe. So the biodecomposable plastic is like this clear, wet plastic. And when it dries, it turns into plastic that you can use. But it also decomposes and doesn't turn into microplastics. Mm -hmm. Biomed. So we can also use that recipe on real sargasso and seaweed and algae, and we can stop the red tide from killing manatees. Thank you so much, Asuja. Are you uh, able to share your screen and show the video? If not, it's okay. I might, let me see. Okay. I'm really curious, Asuja, about how, how big of an area that covers. Is it like a forest or is it like a continent or what? <laughs> this is the group. Mm-hmm. This is the whole team, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's also um, Beatrice and uh, Leticia in there. I don't. So for the sargasso and like seaweed, it just covers like all oceans. Oh yeah. yeah I guess it is bigger than a continent. So like, yeah, yes, everywhere you go, it's all wow. that. Wow, huge. Mm -hmm. So 
Thank you so much, Asweet. Did you have did you have the video? Uh, give me one minute. I'll get it. Thank you. Maybe, maybe Beatrice could say something while we're waiting for the video. Mm -hmm. Or Atisha. So yeah, the next one is uh, Beatrice. We. Uh, I also want to talk about maneuvers since uh, she. I don't think she's here right now, but she also we also work together on talking about the focusing on the biodiversity in the Amazon. Mm -hmm. So. We did a video as well, but since I don't have the video right now, I can't show it. But it's talking about all like the the on about the Amazon and the biodiversity. So, so Beatrice, we we work together with the Blue Macau. And if Beatrice, you can, if you want to say some uh, words. Okay. My name is Beatrice. I sou brasileira e moro na cidade de Cascavel. I have a I years old nine. Eu tenho nove anos. Decidi fazer a arara azul porque ela está em perigo de extinção. Pelo desmatamento ilegal, pela caça e pelas queimadas. So Beatrice is saying that uh, she is nine years old mm -hmm. and she decided to, to uh, raise awareness of the blue Macau mm -hmm. because it's, uh, it's a very important uh, bird in Brazil. It's a very beautiful bird. And she saw that the blue Macau is in danger of extinction mm -hmm. because of deforestation and illegal uh, I illegal uh, uh, people that are getting those tree, those those birds for to sell it in the black market. So that's what you said. Você pode continuar, Beatriz. Porque se Deus fez ela para o mundo, é para ela estar aqui com a gente. Porque Vamos lutar para a extinção não continuar, para não prejudicar a azul. E, e que ela é o nosso patrimônio do, do nosso Brasil. E so, so Beatriz está dizendo que se Deus trouxe a Blue Macau uh, aqui entre nós, é algo que precisamos treasure. It is something that uh, we really want to uh, get it as an important component of our lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we really need to have them uh, among us uh, as it is meant to be. Mm -hmm. But you continue, Beatrice. Eu, assim, eu senti muita alegria e muita tristeza, porque é alegria por estar fazendo o desenho e tristeza por, porque a arara azul está em extinção. So Beatriz said that she was sad and happy. She was happy because she was doing something for the Blue Macau, and she was sad because the Blue Macau is going through that many difficulties in life. Yes. yes. Can, can I ask, Beatrice, can I ask, wh what does it take to, uh, to save the blue Macau so that they're, they're no longer in danger? What do we have to do? Uh, Beatriz, a pergunta é, uh, o que, que a gente pode fazer para uh, ajudar a salvar o a Arara Azul? Fazer os movimentos de per 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 preservação preservação. Yes, she said uh, it is important to preserve the blue macau and to raise awareness of the dangers that the blue macau is facing in the world. So. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Beatrice. And 
So I wanted to also talk about that we also did activities with Leticia about the pink dog. So Leticia, would you like to say something? Thank you. Oh, let's see that. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure she can show you. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Beatrice. Uh, so I, I also want, like I said, I also, I also, uh, work together with Leticia on the pink dolphin. So Leticia, would you like to say something? Leticia, you're, you're muted. Um, hi. hi. Oi. So, Letícia, eu tenho oito anos, moro no Brasil e, e o animal que eu escolhi é o boto cor-de-rosa. O boto, o boto está em risco de extinção. Um animal tão bonito não pode deixar de existir. Fazer o que estamos fazendo. É tão bom. So, Leticia is eight years old and she is happy to uh, work uh, on the uh, pink dolphin. Uh, pink dolphin is a legendary animal in the Amazon region in Brazil. And she thinks okay, that uh, a so beautiful animal uh, needs to be beautiful. preserved. So we all need to work together it's to always... preserve the blue, the, the pink dolphin in Brazil. My... Is it? Mais alguma coisa, Letícia? Não. <laughs> yes, that's that's her message. She she is very happy that she's trying to save the pink dolphin. Um. I read. No. Did you? Oh, Asuja, did you find the video yet? Okay. So thank you very much, Leticia. And I want to also ask if, again, if uh, anyone from the Tagaytay School Special Education Center is here and you want to say some words, uh, can you uh, please? Obrigado, uh, Nicole. Beijos. You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> thank you so much, Leticia. Welcome. Hello. 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 We're from Tagaytay City Central School. Mm -hmm. Especially, we are handling the Tagaytay City Sped Center. Uh, our school, our pupils there are fan of discovering the Tarshir. So we had. Uh, joined uh, Nicole's team in promoting the uh, conserving Tarshir in the Philippines. So we had activity. We are we want to present to you the video, but we have we found it hard to present because of the connectivity and other mm -hmm. problems that we don't know. Uh, in our school, we had activity of promoting the conservation of tarsier since this is endemic in the Philippines already. Uh, we, we had lots of activities uh, joining or including it in our science lesson uh, to help our learners be aware that this species need to be saved in the Philippines. So that's it. So our learners, our pupils had been uh, discovering this in the Philippines, even though in our place, it's not really, really uh, 
open sin. It's open sin in some other places in the Philippines. And we let our learners know that we have to take care of them because it does a lot in our ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So Nicole, is this is this a team that that you've brought together? How, how is it? There's there's the pink dolphin and the manatee, and then let let Vina. What was the name of the the animal in the Philippines? Taishir. How do we Taishir? Yeah. What what is it? What is that? What kind of animal is this? It's like a small monkey. Oh, okay. Yeah. With big eyes and perform a lot in our ecosystem because it's are they are they also being insects. are they being hunted as like the like the pink dolphin and the manatee? Yeah. Yeah. The species are rare already, mm -hmm. and we are we want to protect them. And so we are having we are promoting conserving it in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm um, sorry. Um, I have the videos now. I got it logged in over here. If do, are you? We're logged in this. How your name? I so have I have a, yeah. I have another account. Can you put me that uh, that one in instead, guys? Hmm. You're muted, Jake. Okay. Thank you so much. Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry for the difficulties. So I, I'm going to share my screen for you. This one? No, you're the bottom. Okay. Oh, oh, um, wait, this is the right one. Which one? Okay. We see your Zoom screen. Yeah. So I have the video. Okay. I have the video for the um, type like. It's starting to move. Advocates, what can we do to preserve the species of the Philippine tarsier? Can you hear the sound? Yes. Yes. Click on full okay. screen now. Tagaytay City Special Education Center as advocates of tarsier conservation. John Alu. Teacher Kiara. So just and to with make my sure you can hear the sound, right? As a school principal. Okay. And with a partnership of If You Can Dream Foundation, the school made an awareness drive for the conservation of tertiary in the Philippines. John Alu, Dr. Led, and the whole team conducted talks on the importance of tertiary. Receiving teachers also participated in the drive, integrating the conservation in their science subjects. Foster making was conducted mm -hmm. with the intermediate learners of the school. In action are photos of learners making their posters. It is our collective and individual responsibility to preserve and tend to the world in which we live. That is according to Dalai Lama. Tagaytay City Special Education Center commits to continuously be a front line of change and advocate for the environment. 
let us all make baby steps for our planet. Okay, so and that's um that do you, if anyone wants to ask any questions you can ask them. Uh, Nicole, could you share the manatee video? We can get to it. Sure. Sorry. Thank you. Nicole, you have collected a team from around the world. How did you get all of these people together? Well, first, Aswaja is actually from my school, and we're like best friends. And I also have, I also, with my, from, uh, I have friends from around the world and my parents as well. So, and we all, uh, we contacted many people and we were able to see what people wanted to also like what endangered species they wanted to help. So I will show the bioplastic the seaweed. Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Nicole and I'm Asuaja and we're going to make plastic out of algae! Also, so this, this is, is the recipe some, that we will follow to uh, make some plastic out of seaweed. Okay, that's okay. So first we're going to put 240 milliliters of hot boiling water that's around 70 degrees. Okay. Then you're going to put 5 grams of agar agar powder, which is basically seaweed. And then okay. so the next step is to bring the solution on the stove and mix it and wait until it gets to its boiling point then we're gonna bring it back and spread it on this tray and wait for it to cool down so be, be right back now that the solution is all ready and close to the boiling point, we're going to pour it on the tray. Okay. Now that we did that, we're going to wait for it to cool and dry off. See you soon! After an hour later, for this solution to cool off, we're now going to peel it. Okay. Mm. Come. <laughs> like jello. Wow. Oh. Okay, wow. So this is how you can make seaweed, seaweed into plastic. Thank you so much for watching. And this is Nicole. This is Asuaja. And we're signing off. Bye. Hey. So <laughs> that's the video. Um, thank you so much. And if you, we're all open for questions. If you ask, we have another uh, minute. We can ask a question, Jim mm -hmm. Ash. I've got a question. If we can, if you can turn seaweed into plastic, is the inspiration to turn plastic into seaweed? Is that possible? I don't feel like that. I don't know. I don't feel like it's possible, but you can make like plastic seaweed like as a tour or something, but I, I if, don't. If, if we could use this, this new algae based plastic, would it, would it, when it broke down, would it just turn into algae or seaweed or how, what would it do in the ocean? Would it go back to being organic matter? Yes. I guess that, yeah, it would oh. just turn back into organic matter instead of just turning back into a seaweed. That's <laughs> awesome. Great. Kim, do you have one last quick, very quick question? I do. So would you ever consider using this technique um, in space for compost? Because this is a really great way to lock nitrogen and greens into a sustainable, stable 
uh, format that you could layer and grow soil in low earth orbit. Because if it decomposes, the nitrogen will release again. Is it all, I mean, I, I know you can't answer these questions, but <laughs> I'm fascinated by your use of agar in this way. And I, I think you may be onto something here. Is your question, um, I'm sorry, I'm new to this. Ash made me think, ooh, if you can't turn it into seaweed, could you turn it into nitrogen? Mm. And that's what compost actually needs, mm -hmm. is that nitrogen to fuel microbiomes that turns waste matter into dirt. Uh, you've inspired me. That was an amazing video. Thank you. Nicole, you can invite Jim to be part of your group. <laughs> I, I hope you're up to it, Jim. So that was excellent. We have to move on to our next presenter. That was very good. Thank you. Nicole, let me just tell Thank you so something. much. Nic Nicole. Thank you. Everybody, anybody can do a good job when everything goes right. And you had some major computer issues and you still did a great job. And that is what the world needs. People who can yeah. overcome problems and succeed <laughs> in spite of reality. So hey, can I say problem. something to that? <laughs> yes. you know what? Nicole, I had to present earlier today and my computer would not share. So I had to email my presentation to the presenter across the continent so they could present it. You did fine. I actually saw your uh, presentation and saw that it, you did really good. So. Thank you.